Welcome to the Get Back, music work talk in Central Texas, Fridays at 1 p.m. Brought to you by the Austin Federation of Musicians and with the Unemployment Compensation Advisory Committee. The Unemployment Compensation Advisory Committee, Austin Federation of Musicians, Local 433 of the American Federation of Musicians, a.k.a. the Musicians Union. Uh, some of us work as uh, contractor 1099 workers, and others work as employee W-2 workers in various aspects of the music industry. The goal of this session is to experiences, including trials and tribulations related to the Texas Workforce Commission, or TWC, with other musicians in the state of Texas to aid in navigating the TWC application process. We are not experts in unemployment assistance. We are musicians. The information contained herein does not constitute a legal advice or an official pronouncement or a position of the Austin Federation of Musicians, but rather is only the personal opinions of the panelists. Panelists do not give legal advice or make official rulings on agency matters, should not be cited as authorities in any matter before the agency or when dealing with agency staff about a case, and must minimize their involvement with administrative processes. They also do not give legal advice on any other matter, and any information they should give should not be used as a basis for taking any employment-related action. Before taking any employment action that could adversely affect an employee, or before using any sample form or policy you may obtain from this group, you should consult a licensed, private sector, employment law attorney of your choice. All right, welcome to the Get Back. It's May 26th of 2022. Uh, and we're back after uh, after a few weeks off. Yeah, I think we had a what do we have. We had a holiday in there and and some illness on the committee uh, last week. And uh, we're back now. It's it's just me today. It's just Aaron. Uh, but uh, yeah, getting getting off of uh, off the ground again. Uh, we always start with the links down in the show notes. Uh, you'll see there uh, the links to. The, the local union and the other economic recovery in the music business links that we've been talking about uh, for the last uh, couple of years now. Um, and then if you watch the show on the archived version, also down in those show notes will be links to the articles uh, that we talk about today. Uh, but if you're watching live, there those articles are not there yet, but they will be. So uh, check back if you're watching live. So... Um, let's see, uh, oh, we always talk about, uh, beverages. I'm drinking coffee, a large cup of coffee, as usual. And, uh, I hope you're comfortably enjoying a beverage as well. So, um, we'll have kind of a short session today, uh, because it's just me here. Um, but we'll just run through a couple of things, and then we'll probably save the rest for when, uh, the rest of the committee's here. Um, but, uh... Of course, the big the big news this week is the is the school shooting in uh, Uvalde, in Texas, um, and uh, yeah, just tragic, tragic events there. Um, and of course, the irony is that the the NRA convention is being held. I think what starting tonight or something in Houston. Um, yeah, so just just bizarre circumstances there, um, and it just. It just highlights, once again, something that we always say on the show is that we all have to vote every time. Um, we did just get through an election, uh, the, the runoff election, um, and uh, yeah, Ken Paxton is, is still still uh, the, the candidate for Texas Attorney General uh, for the uh, Republicans. Um, so um, we got to vote. We've got to vote. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Anyway, but uh, we'll, we'll have a link to the results from that election. If you haven't seen them already, but that was Tuesday. I'm sure you probably have already. Um, goodness. But, uh, yeah, the, the Uvalde thing is just, yeah, just highlights uh, the, the, the need for some, some reform of the, the rules around guns, uh, which have gotten even more lax in, in our state here in Texas in the last few years, uh, terrifyingly so. Um, and, uh, you know, why does this matter on a on a musician podcast, of course. Well, you know, let me remind you, just a few weeks ago, there was a, you know, the, the last national, nationally covered uh, shooting incident was in a grocery store in, in Buffalo, you know, and we have musicians right here in Austin that are playing in grocery stores tonight. <laughs> I mean, 
there's a lot of music that happens in grocery stores around here. And, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's the, the, the possibility of something like that happening here. Um, it is very high, unfortunately. Um, and that's our workplace. So, um, yeah, we, we, you know, we work in public all the time as performers. And, uh, so that this is, this is an issue that affects all of us. So, um, yeah, anyway, apparently, uh, it, it doesn't look like a lot is going to get done, um, legislatively. And that just means we all have to vote even more. Uh, we have to elect people that will do something about this uh, who are not in the pockets of the NRA, the National Rifle Association. Um, so there you go. I mean, you would you would think the NRA would be a partner in wanting to reform rules related to this, um, but they they just constantly seem to be opposing any any further regulation of guns at all. So. There you go. Yeah, sad, sad news this week. Um, yeah, heartbreaking, in fact. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have an article, yeah, about uh, about uh, how our Senator John Cornyn calls Texas uh, AG Ken Paxton's legal troubles as a source of embarrassment, uh, and he's, he's being sued by the Texas Bar this week. Um, Ken Paxton is, and uh, all kinds of embarrassing things there um so yeah we have to we have to do better uh than that uh in the state of texas um let's see uh we'll save that we'll save that we'll save that uh oh wait um yeah oh the the, the newest lawsuit against uh against uh, our attorney general is uh is from the texas bar we have an article about that uh they're suing suing him uh, about his bid to overturn Donald Trump's election defeat back in 2020. Although uh, that happened really in 2021 uh, when that lawsuit went in, I think. But uh, just that it was based on zero factual uh, content as, as the whole movement was uh, and is. Uh, so that's interesting. We'll see if that goes somewhere. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, I think we'll save that. I think we'll save this. Uh, well, no, I guess we could talk about this. The uh, the uh, the incident in Buffalo that, that we just mentioned um, did did generate a, a couple of weeks ago uh, in the United States Congress. Uh, you know, a uh, a domestic terrorism bill. Um, you know, specifically about white supremacy and, and violence related to that. Um, and that bill was completely blocked um, by all of the Republicans in the Senate. Um, I don't think it was quite as united in the House of Representatives, but the Senate was right down the line. All the Democrats voted for it. All the Republicans voted against it. Um, and that's sort of related to the to the gun thing, but uh, it, it's really disturbing that... Uh, um, yeah, that they still really won't condemn white supremacy, which is another terrifying uh, mistake that uh, was being made over and over and over again here and uh, getting our whole country in a deeper and deeper mess here. Um, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, I, I have heard, and I can't find an article on this yet, uh, maybe we need to write an article, but I, I've heard from several musicians that uh, watch baseball games that there were uh, anti-American Music Fairness Act ads from the National Association of Broadcasters on the baseball games. Um, and as you know, the American Music Fairness Act is the uh, is the act in Congress right now that uh, is trying to get passed uh, that will finally compensate. Uh, musicians for their work on recordings that are played on radio in the United States, which has never happened before. Um, it's it's it happens in all the other civilized or er, developed nations in the world, um, and they also collect um, compensation for musicians' work on recordings that are played on radio in their countries, uh, but they don't send them back to the United States because the United States does not pay its own musicians 
for this. And so once this bill gets passed, it's not just that musicians will start making a little bit of money in the United States, but globally money will begin coming in for United States musicians. And it's just, it's so obvious that it needs to, it needs to happen. Um, but the National Association of Broadcasters, which is the represent corporate radio and essentially, um, are still opposing it, uh, and apparently they're running ads on baseball games. So uh, if you have a chance, uh, if you catch one of those, I'd love to get a recording of one of those ads. Um, and, yeah, somebody really should write an article about that. Maybe we'll do that. So um, anyway, so disturbing stuff, but that's what we're up against. That's that's what we're doing here. Um, you know, no one's going to fight for musicians uh, as well as musicians can. And that's, that's what our, our union is all about, the, uh, the American Federation of Musicians and the Austin Federation of Musicians. So uh, talk to us about, uh, about joining if you're not a member already. And if you are a member, uh, talk to us about uh, getting involved. Talk to the office. You, you, that's your office. Um, and uh, you, you, could be, you could be involved in all kinds of things. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll probably see you next week with, uh, with more, more members of the committee and more recent news and discussion and uh if you're listening to this and you're in the music business don't give up we, we can get through this uh, and we are getting through this by sharing information uh, and uh, in solidarity with each other working towards uh doing our business better and now is the perfect time to to do your business better so uh, all right we'll see you next week on the get back Thank you.